Okay, so what we're going to do is determine if the 3 cube is bipartite. Now, 3 cube, remember, is also denoted Q3. And we're going to use the coloring theorem, which basically says that I can color the entire slew of vertices using just two colors by avoiding coloring adjacent vertices the same color. So this should be interesting. So let's form the, the 3 cube first. Now, I always start with the 2 cube which is basically the square. And remember that the vertices are represented as binary bit strings. So in the square, it's length two. When we get to the three cube, it's length three. So I'm gonna start here with zero, zero. And remember, two vertices are adjacent if they differ in one position. So over here, I'm gonna say that's zero, one. And down here, I'm gonna say that's one, zero. And that leaves one, one. Now to get the three cube, we're going to now need three digit binary. So now I'm going to convert these all to zeros. And then I'm gonna create edges off of each one of these. And now zero, zero, one, I'm gonna make adjacent to one, zero, one, cause that's what I haven't had before. And then this is one, 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 zero, and one, zero, zero. So essentially taking the zero, zero and splitting them off into zero and one. And now notice that these are adjacent to each other. Okay, so now we have our eight vertices. So now here's the fun part. So I'm gonna start with red and I'm gonna color the upper left-hand corner. Now that means that any vertex adjacent to that vertex is gonna be colored blue. So that means this one, this one, and this one. Now, from any blue vertex, I know that anything adjacent to those is gonna be colored red. So red goes here, and that works with this one, so that's good. Upper right-hand corner is blue, so this one is red, and, uh, oh, and adjacent to the upper right-hand corner is this one. And it looks like the last one is blue. And yeah, no two adjacent vertices are the same color, so we've done it. We've created a bipartite graph. Now, here is what that bipartite graph looks like. We're gonna put the red vertices on one side. We're gonna put the blue vertices on the other. So red vertices being, well, let's see, the red vertices are one, zero, zero. We have zero, one, zero. Yeah, we know those are not uh, adjacent to each other. We have zero, zero, one, and we have one, 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 and the blue vertices are one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. I'm not writing these in any particular order. We don't really have to. So then this means let's connect up the pairs. So one, zero, zero is adjacent to one, zero, one. It is adjacent to zero, zero, zero. It is not adjacent to 0, 1, 1, but it is adjacent to 1, 1, 0. I'm going to make that one bigger in blue there. Okay. Now let's see what happens with 0, 1, 0. It is not adjacent to 1, 0, 1. It is adjacent to 0, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 0. In fact, each of the vertices on the left should be adjacent to three vertices on the right and and vice versa. So let's see, zero, zero, one, adjacent to one, zero, one, adjacent to zero, 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 and adjacent to zero, one, 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 adjacent to basically anything with two ones on the right. And there's our beautiful little bipartite graph. So we've shown that it is bipartite. Thanks for watching.